In this video, I'm trying something a little bit different. I have removed all that heavy metal music that you guys complained about. So this is an old video with the music removed. If you like it, please give me the big thumbs up. If you don't, give me the thumbs down. The only thing I ask is please just let me know in the comments why you made that decision. And if you're thinking about building or buying one of these 2x72 belt grinders, you're gonna need belts. So the best place to get these belts is at Empire Abrasives. Check out the link down in the description of the video and use the promo code MAKINGSTUFF at checkout and you can get 10% off your first order. So here's the video with the heavy metal music removed and all you can hear is the sound of the tools, the roar of the wood burning stove and the hum of the old fluorescent lights. Okay, so I've got a little problem here. I need a compression spring, and the only thing I could find around the house is this extension spring. To get this spring that, that's this size in a compression spring to order it online, it was gonna be like $30. So what I figured I'd do is just try and stretch this out and just see how well it works. And so I've got my little converter hooked up here. This is my extension spring to compression spring converter. So I'm gonna, anchor one end of the spring to this heavy machinery and then put the other up to the tractor and lift it up and stretch this out and I decided this is probably the best way to do it because if something gives way it's either going to shoot straight up or straight down into the ground instead of going flying you know across the yard maybe hit coming back and hitting me or something so let me hook this up and let's see how well this works. All right, and I just want to point out the first time I compressed this, you can see it, it kind of went back a little to its original form. There's not as much space in between the springs, so I had to cut off a piece a little bit larger than what I wanted.
Okay, a few things I want to point out if you decide to build one of these for yourself. The, the first problem I've got is that the belt wants to rub against the side right here of the base. This is something that I'll probably fix. Just, I just need to offset everything a little bit so that it's not so close to the side. All right, and the second thing I want to show you is this adjustment here that, that locks the platen down is on the same side as the belt. I had originally planned on running the belt on the right side of the machine, but I had to move it to the left side of the machine because I found out that the treadmill motor, the flywheel that mounts to it was left hand threaded. If you ran it, you, you know, it's a DC motor, so I could have reversed the motor, but then there was a chance that the flywheel could loosen itself if the machine had an abrupt stop. And without the belt and everything on it, playing with it, it was quite easy to get that flywheel to uh, unscrew itself from the shaft of the motor. So I decided to put the belt on the left hand side and that solved all those problems. And the third thing I want to point out is this right here had a little bit of wobble in it. So I had to put some shims in there to get rid of the wobble. And it didn't really wobble but the shaft would twist and when it would do that the belt would go off to the side over here and sometimes almost fly off of the idler pulley and also you can see that this is how the belt runs it's not in the center of this pulley and that's because once something's out of square it's real important to have the machine in square when you when you when you do the pulleys and one of these it's 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 tilted one way or the other but it's close enough that it works but just remember, if you build one of these, close enough really isn't good enough. It's got to be dead on square. 
So if you made it this far into the video, you're probably thinking about building one of these for yourself and you're gonna need some belts and probably some flap discs. The best place to pick those up right now is at Empire Abrasives. So check out the link down in the description and be sure and use that promo code making stuff at checkout and save 10% off your first order. If you liked the video, please give me that big thumbs up and let me know something down in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think about the video, this new format. I still read all the comments and I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider subscribing and ringing that bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.